Hey guys, it's Twitter one Maxwell here and welcome to another edition of Maxi Recommends with the Football Manager Wonder Kids and today we're going to be documenting a, a Wonder Kid in FM that needs no real introduction, Yuri Telemans from Anderlecht. Everybody knows he is probably the best youngster in the game and this video is really just to highlight how good he is. I mean there's a lot of people that don't get far into the game and I can understand that. It was like that back in the day, I didn't play a lot of seasons. But it was for people that kind of say they never get to him, him being 20. They want to know how he looks in his prime, and that's really what this video is all about, to just document how good this kid can be, and, and trust me, he is, um, well, real, just really good in this game. So you see here, starts the game, age 17, he's just turned 17 in May, so that's a month before this game started up. Valued at £1.1 million, pounds, and he's only got a contract to 2016, so you shouldn't have to pay too much for him. Now looking at him, he's a central midfielder, can also play DM, AMC, attacking mid right and up front. Best roles would probably be a playmaker, either attacking or deep line or a central midfielder. I completely agree with that, his passing straight away tells me he's going to be a cracking playmaker. So looking at the stats for this young Belgian under 21 internationalist with 9 caps, can straight, straight, straight off the bat there, 14 for dribbling, crossing's good, first touch is good. Corners are good, so if you need a set piece taker, this is your man. Free kick taken would also suggest he could be a future Beckham like player. 12 long shots, 15 passing, and 15 technique. Remember, he's 17. Wow. The mentals again for somebody at 17, absolutely incredible. With only 3 stats less than the green stat there, which is 11, so that'd be work rate at 10, positioning and leadership. Great determination, decision making is good, bravery is high. Composure, anticipation, concentration, decision making, vision, they're all pretty average mid teens, which of course at the age of 17 are only going to get better and better. Physically, he's fast, he's fit, maybe lacks a bit in strength, but at 17, you know, that's when they're just going to start getting to the gym and he's going to progress. So we're just going to have a look at his career history, just been at Anderlecht, played 29 times last season, scoring one goal for the first team. And the scout report says he's already at two star ability and potential to be four, probably five, in terms of getting to Everton, as you see with this save. So we've got a potential world class midfielder. He'd be very interested in joining the club in loan, but would not be open to a transfer. So again, probably wouldn't go to Everton, but you know, if you're looking at kind of like a Tottenham, an Arsenal, they kind of clubs, they're definitely going to look at him. His acceleration underpins his overall speed. He's got a fairly determined attitude, he's fairly adaptable to living in another country, enjoys big matches, he's got pace and he's versatile. Marking, which you would expect is low because he is a, a playmaker, doesn't tend to fulfil his marking duties, has a bit of a competitive streak, but that means he's a born winner, you know he wants to win, so he'll be competitive and that might see him getting a couple of bookings or red cards in his early career, and he'll need to learn the language, but he'll start off as a leading player for most championship sides. But as I say, guys, this is him at 17. Wait till you see him 10 years down the line. Just what a player. So, guys, fast forward 10 seasons, and this is what you get 75 caps for Belgium, 9 goals, £30 million rated midfielder or defensive midfielder, Yuri Telemans playing for Arsenal, and you can see these stats there simply one of the best midfielders, central midfielders in the world. Can you quickly just quickly get the set pieces out of the way, straight off the bat, penalty taking 15, free kick taking 20, and corner 17, so you know that's the rules you want them to be having, you know, and get them in every set piece you can. He'll deliver there, great dribbling at 16, finishing's a bit poor, so maybe is better off deeper, but nine fin with the nine finishing, sorry, first touch at 18 is great, long shots at 16, Passing 18, Technique 18 are just most of the high attributes he's got technically. Every mental is over 10, the lowest is work rate at 12 and aggression, same with position and teamwork. Apart from that you're looking at a lot of 16s, a couple of 17s in there. The anticipation and vision which are really two really good stats to have. 18 composure, even his off the ball and flair are pretty respectable. And on the physical side of things, good acceleration, 
and agility, good natural fitness, the pace and stamina, the stamina is taking a massive leap from the 7 it was at. Balance and jump and reach are pretty average, but you know, it's just a couple of flaws he has, he isn't big to head of the ball, but he's still a decent wee playmaker, and strength is up to 13. So it says now it's still going to be just a complete playmaker, advanced playmaker, deep line, or even a Roman playmaker. He can play in a DM position, probably. Accomplished in that role now is a Regista and a deep line playmaker. So he's good for that, good kind of spraying the ball about. And we'll quite have a look at his career stats. So PSG bought him for just £14 million in 2016-17. A couple of decent seasons there. Arsenal bought him in 18-19 for £26.5 million. And he's been a never present there, scoring a couple of goals, getting the assists, and you know, pretty decent average ratings. Roughly, around about, I would say average, about 7.123 overall. When you add in the 7 2 1 season up with the rest of them, so he's been okay. He's certainly, you know, looking at the stat side of things, has definitely improved, and it is one player that definitely will genuinely become world class in this game. The scout report has him at 4.5 star ability. And he's obviously maxed his uh, potential ability, and he's far better than anyone else at uh, Everton Football Club in this. Current ability, world class player, and um, he's an ambitious player. If he'll understand the language now, he'll end up with plenty of international experience. He's intelligent, he's a very de he's very determined in his attitude. He enjoys the big match, he's very consistent now, and can play in a couple of positions. Negatives, just marking, poor tackling, and a competitive streak. So I'd probably play him in central midfield rather than the DM position, because I mean, if he's going to be marking and chasing people in that position, he's more likely to, to give away fouls and, and maybe look at yellows and reds. So I say, isn't somebody will get at like the lesser clubs? I say, a Tottenham is probably the perfect level for him right at the start, or you could get him if you're one of the big clubs, Arsenal, Man U, you know, Bayern, Dortmund, just somebody you can really base the club around, essentially, you know, and, and somebody that can be a, a mainstay in the core of your team for a good 10, 15 years in game. And I say you probably need to pay about the £14 million, pounds, maybe less, if you get him right at the start. From Anderlecht. So that's Yuri Telemans. That is how good he becomes. I would give him a 9.5 out of 10 because he simply does look phenomenal. And I think even with a bit of you know, the human manager training him, he can become even better. So if you have signed Yuri Telemans, whether it be in the previous update, or if it's with 15.3, let me know in the comments section how you got on for you. Any guyazos or pictures, the stats, please let me know, guys. If you liked the video, please leave a like, and if you haven't already, please sub to the channel. So this was Twitter One Max. So thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye bye.